if you want to start a learning circle, you're getting ready to start a learning circle, don't freak out and do not over plan. Um, I am a firm subscriber of the lazy method. Um, I take a look at the syllabus, I gauge how much time I think it's going to take, and that's how I promote it. This is the subject, and this is approximately how much time it'll take. And everything else, be flexible, because you're dealing with people, and people vary, and their experiences vary. Yeah, I, I think it's uh, a good idea to put yourself into the shoes of the, uh, the people who are going to be participating in the learning circle. Uh, the, imagine what you would like in a facilitator um, and try to be that. So uh, it, I think it's really important to remember that it's not a hierarchical system. Um, and if you're, uh, if you're worried that everybody's going to be looking to know the answers or um, even know how the projector works or how to, how to fix the laptop, um, you might be putting pressure on yourself that, that is undue. So I, I think thinking of yourself as part of the group, um, and you're almost just the secretary. You're just sort of keeping things moving along and keeping everybody organized, um, and, and that you're just part of the team. Okay, well, the, my best tip is to find something that you're passionate about. If you enjoy the subject and you really enjoy learning it and talking about it with others, I think that that will carry over to the participants and help build their enthusiasm for it. I think that adds a lot to the learning process. It's not just something we do to get something done, but something that we're enjoying and making it fun is um, a really important thing. Um, I think one of the best resources um, that people underutilize is the discussion groups and things that are available on P2PU. Um, you can really get on there and say, hey, I'm going to try this. Has anyone else done it? And get somebody to answer you. And also just use your community resources. Use your peers in the library. Use people who have done this before and say, hey, I'm going to try this. Do you think it'll work? And I think um, if people aren't afraid to ask for help, they'll get the help. Yeah, so you just kind of have to jump in. Like, you're going to be in the same place as every learner in the learning circle. You're all starting something new together. You're all learning something together. Um, and they're probably going to have the same questions as you. Um, you're all going to be looking at the same material. So just getting in there and making them understand that they can relate to you because you're all in this together is an important part. Just do it. It's not that hard. Like. It seems like a lot harder than it actually is. And it's fun, it's something to do. Pick a class that you kind of are interested in anyway, and you're going to learn along with everyone else. So just do it. <laughs>